We are back with episode 14 of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee walkthrough. I'd like to be really, really appreciated for my next video to be uploaded pretty much immediately. In the last episode, we took on the fifth gym leader of this game. Feels like we've done a lot more than that. We were only at the fifth gym. In this episode, we are going to head to Saffron City to take on the self company take on team rocket at the self company first we need to get the what's basically strength but pikachu's equivalent of that so what you have to do is just simply go south of future city team rocket jesse and james are right here they're going to stumble upon the warden's golden teeth which is kind of gross but it gets the job done. Wow, just look at that shine. This must be some kind of amazing treasure. What? A, you need some kind of gold teeth? And there we go. We get, we're get. we going to get given the golden teeth. Because Jesse, for whatever reason, wants to give it to us. I don't know. I don't think Jesse and James are really that evil. I think they kind of like us. I think they like us a little bit. So, what we are going to do is we are going to hand deliver that. Hand deliver his golden teeth. To the Warden's House, which is located just to the right of the Pokemon Center. If you do, if you hop down the ledge, you give the Golden Teeth to the Warden. And he is going to teach us how to be strong. How to be strength or something. I don't know, just ignore me. You got a Safari set from the Warden. Fantastic. And here, I'll teach you something neat. A secret technique called Strong Push. That's the name of it. I just couldn't remember it, so I was just trying to like bide my time and come up with words for it like the pikachu equivalent for strength or something here we go we get strong push very nice so we are going to learn that pikachu is a fantastic learner uh get uh that in our inventory i guess your pikachu is a clever one sunny um very easy to activate and i'm really liking our Venomoth following us right now. Venomoth is going to be incredibly useful this episode. In fact, for the next couple of episodes due to its typing. Uh, behind here is a Diglett. You get a nugget from a Diglett, which is pretty nice. And our Pikachu is glowing. His aura is showing or something equally as lame. So, now, we are going to head to Saffron City. Uh, what we are going to have to do first is fly to Celadon City because we need to... Give the Saffron City guards some tea because for whatever reason they don't feel like doing their job that they're paid to do unless they get tea off. I guess travellers, customers, users of the terminals. I don't know how it works but anyway if you speak to Brock who is located just over here. Hey I didn't expect to run into you here. Don't know why I'm giving him that voice. I'm on my way back from visiting the Pokemon City Gym. Keeping in touch with other gym leaders is part of our duties, after all. And he is going to give us... Oh, the girls at the gym turned him away. I wonder why, Brock. Do you have some pewter crunches? Put as a gift. Here, pewter crunches are basically like the Lumios... Um, is it... I, I can't remember, but... There, there's a few items that are exclusive to certain cities. That's one of them. Yeah, a cup of tea from Brock. And Brock is going to say, ah, oh, I don't have enough love to give to that thirsty guard now. So he just plans on not going to Peter, apparently. Anyway, it looks like you've been visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you, Brock. It's been a while since we've battled. I love this Polyrath right here. Oh, oh my god, look how happy it is. Yo, bless it. Okay, so to Saffron City. Pokeball right here, which is really messing with me. I kind of want to go grab that, but no. we got to save the world first. We have our priorities straight. Let's do it. Oh, that tea you have. It looks awfully tasty. Oh, what? Can I, I can have a drink. I don't know why I'm giving him a creepy voice. He's just going to glug it all away. If you really want to go to Saffron City, I guess I can let you pass. I'll share this tea with the guards working near the gates around the city too. And we are going to enter Saffron City for the very, very first time. Now, we are not able to take on the sixth gym leader before we take on the self company. Which is not located down that alley. It is, though, it is located down this alleyway. Let's go over here where Jesse and James are going to be like, Yo, just let us in, you expletive how can you say that when we're on the same side apparently 
they're not recognised as members of Team Rocket. They're going to force their way into a Team Rocket dominated building as of right now. Interesting. There we go. And with that, the guard is just going to be like, yeah, you can come in as well. Looks like he blacked out. Standing up. Can you see his eyes? Oh, his eyes are open. That's creepy. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So anyway, there is a Pokeball over there that I just saw. The receptionist can be like, go away. No, we're, we're under attack. It's a disaster, please. There's no place for kids. Not when there are so many dangerous people around. I'm the danger around here. <laughs> Quoted by PD1 or 2018. Jesus. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. You won't even let us have a, a little look around. Look who it is. It's our boy. Not you, Richie. Sorry, Richie. I love you too. I just love, I just love Blue more. I don't. I don't mean that. Not that you're watching. If you are watching, <laughs> then I'm sorry. <laughs> no surprise. Those Team Rocket goons are causing trouble all over the place. You and me on the same wavelength, brother. I don't know, why am I giving Blue a Hulk Hogan voice? We can't keep letting Team Rocket do whatever they please, brother. <laughs> That's right. Come on, it's time we do a little strategy planning, brother. <laughs> Peter is going to drive Team Rocket out of self company just like he planned, but it'd be crazy to try something like that alone, so Richie's going with him. Right! While you pip squeeze do that, I'm going to do a loop all around all of Kansas, squashing Team Rocket wherever I find them. One of us is sure to find out where their boss is hiding. While I'm at it, I'll swing by the Pokemon League to tell. It just sounds like Blue, you know what to do, and you just can't be bothered to stick around here. In fact, is there's only one more thing we've got to do here first. Petey went all Richie, if you want me to leave this place up to you two newbies then prove that you're up to the task god he said newbies wow i don't care what you, who goes first show me what you've got i can't imagine blue saying that anyway first battle versus blue let's do it venomoth should easily be able to uh, handle this as he is going to be leading with an executor i really like executor i need to catch an execute. Unfortunately, execute isn't encounterable until much later on in this game. Actually, it might be. You, know, you might be able to encounter it now. Um, it's located by Victory Road, but you can get past the first guard after you. I don't know. What? I kind of want to test that after this video. <laughs> after I'm done recording this video, we are going to use Leech Life on this. Should be. Uh... Thought it was going to be a one-hit KO. It wasn't. Unfortunately, alas, but we have Pikachu to pick up the scraps. Uh, there is one more thing I want to go do, actually, first, maybe. Maybe I don't have to do it in this video. It's uh, it's pick up um, Pikachu's water type attack from uh, Fuchsia City. But we shouldn't need it this episode because anything that is weak to water generally right now is weak to electric type attacks such as this Javazard that I knew that he had so that's why I didn't mind switching into Pikachu uh, level 40 but we should be able to two hit KO this with Zippy Zap with our guaranteed critical hits I knew you could do it crit of course heatwave dodge oh my god Pikachu you're so in sync with me brother let's let's continue so all my videos are, are just dated references. And that's not entertaining. No wonder why nobody watches me. Haha. -ha. If you're watching this right now, comment the word. Um, <laughs> comment the word. I'm trying to think. Comment the word just Porygon, I guess. Just because that's the first word I read on my uh, OBS. Exactly what I expect from a Pallet Down Trainer. Just no context but Polygon, I guess. Probably only get, gonna get three people saying that, but yeah. Oh man, so you really are ready for Team Rocket. I feel pretty good about leaving this place in your hands. Then you're next, Richie. Come at me. I'm just getting warmed up. Come at me, bro. God, he really is just a 2008 kid, isn't he? And next special attack right there. That's gonna come in handy. Before we take on the self company, uh, we're gonna go heal up. Now, fortunately, I know my my way around Self Company because I've recently been playing Pokemon Yellow, and the layout, while isn't 100% a replica, it's pretty similar. Just in a test recording that I've done. Well, I'm not test recording in a test playthrough that I've done. Um, that's why if you're watching these the day these videos come out, that's why there's a bit of a delay between each video now. I'm just making sure I can actually do everything in the video and I know my way around stuff rather than getting lost. 
like I did in the Celadon game corner. So I did do a quick test, just to make sure I knew what I was doing. Unfortunately, I've still got that magic. I've still got that... I don't know where I'm going with this. I wanted to see what the Pokemon Sensor uh, NPCs had, actually. So, okay, you're just him. You, you look important. Cantonian, right, you? Okay. Um, I'm going to do a roundup of where you can get every single Alolan form. Uh, and where every single trade for each Alolan form is in Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. So that is interesting information. No, I knew uh, whereabouts to look for that information. Thank you, Data Miners. I really appreciate you. I actually do. As a YouTuber, I appreciate... I've, I've said this as well before. I appreciate Data Miners in that they really help me as a YouTuber. And they probably hate me as a YouTuber. But I do really appreciate what they do. But as a like Pokemon fan... I just, I feel really bad for the Pokemon company. Like, having everything leaked out into the wild. Um, yeah, we should be good with Venomoth leading. And then we can just switch into Pikachu or Nido King. Wait a minute, Chirachi, you know that kid? You, I knew this kid. But you want you know that old guy? He doesn't even look old. That's the thing. Brave little boys. I haven't had someone speak to me condescendingly since... Oh, since about all this, actually. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay, Archer and Grunt. Grunt doesn't get her name. Unless that is her name, then it's a really unfortunate name. There's an Electrode. Cubone should be able to dispatch this Electrode unless it's going to self-destruct and Muck's going to use Protect. I'm lucky I remembered that. Okay, Death Fodder. Death Fodder. Who do we switch into? Um, Arcanine is going to be the least useful. Yeah, okay, so this is a this is really intelligent artificial intelligence right here. The Grunt protects an Archer uses self-destruct. He didn't protect. You've just ruined what I just complimented you about. Bruh. You're joking, but right? I just gave you so much props and you didn't even do what I said you were going to do. I'm not complaining. I mean, I, I clearly am complaining, but I'll take it. <laughs> Heat Wave might not do as much as Flamethrower because the damage is like 75% of what Heat Wave normally does. Oh, okay, missed the attack. Don't care. Don't care. Just Bone Meringue, Weezing, I'll be happy. Don't you dare use something dumb like Protect. Okay, good. I mean, Protect isn't dumb. It would have protected you from that. Flamethrower, but, yeah. Okay, now that there's Raticate out. Fortunately, levels seem a little bit lower. Um, we might have been able to do this before we took on Koga, but I'm an idiot, and I did it out of order. No, I prefer doing it, like, segmented. Like, I... Do it in order, do the cities in order of what I need to do, I guess. So, um, I do Celadon, and then I go down to Fuchsia, because that's the location of the 5th gym leader. Then I do everything in Vermilion, uh, not Vermilion, Saffron, etc, etc. Um, actually, Arcanine maybe should be hitting Weezing right here. Especially because it's burnt now, Vaticate's burnt. Sucker Punch, there's a puny amount. May as well just wipe out one side, I guess. Arcanine levels up. Unfortunately, Arcanine probably isn't going to see too much action, though. Um, Weezen uses Sludge Bomb. 1 HP! Good job, Arcanine. I love that. People are probably going to complain that that feature makes the game easier. I think it's a nice quality of life thing. But that might just suit my play, play style more than it does other people's. Like I can imagine 4chan getting incredibly angry about the fact that your Pokemon, if they love you enough, can survive with 1 HP. And I get it, I don't actually blame them, depending on the way they play. Energy? Really? You do you, bro. You do you. Um, we might want to revive... Actually, I don't even think we... Yeah, we haven't even used our um, Venomoth in this, so that's great. Um, we're not going to be faster than Gold, but Pidgey Eyes, though. Oh, great. Okay, it's not even going to hit us. 
Please don't hit us this turn. Or maybe Air Slash can get a lucky crit. And take out this goal bag. Unless... Unless Richie decides to do something stupid. He doesn't. I love you, Richie. You never would do that. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. This is how I ruin my uh, relationship with the Pokemon company. Just little by little. Just little digs here and there. So it wasn't just a stroke of luck that, that you beat me last time. I understand that. We'll have to be more careful about you two. Out of the way. What have you dropped? You've dropped something. <laughs> the ang anger emotes there. That was great. Took the card key from Richie. Okay. Fantastic. So now all we have to do. First you have to do... Go to floor 5, take on the trainers next to this little area here, and then go to floor 3. Quickest way to get through Silver Company without having to take on, like, literally every single floor. Quickest way. If you hate the Silver Company as much as I do, there's only a couple of required fights here. That's the quickest way of doing it. Venomoth's eyes are scary. Anyway, let's continue. You can see blueprints for Pokeballs. Let's have a look at that. That's so cool. I like that. Um, I don't actually... I think it's this one that we need to go in. Look at me forgetting. Just gave you a helpful tip and then... Here's me forgetting because I'm an idiot. Typical me. Alright. That's far enough. What are you again? This guy... Has... He either gets to Pokemon centers quickly or he gets... Oh, he has plenty of revives on him. Just max revives, just easy. Just the elixirs, max revives, just grinding it out. Good lad. I respect the grind. Archer. That's, that sounds so stupid when I say that. Anyway, next battles. You can see, you can see the Silver Company boss right there. Our boss is in a meeting. You better not disturb him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, <laughs> she just jumps straight into a battle. Wow, Jessie doesn't even get to say anything. She's still just reeling about like bumping into the guy to get in here. So this is going to be an easy fight again. Um, we are going to focus all our energy first on Arbok because Arbok can do more damage to us. The most Weezing can really do is Poisonous and then maybe Sludge Bombers. Um... So let's just zippy zap rather than waiting on dig. Uh, get a crit right there. Psychic should KO it. Boom. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Good job. You know, for being so underleveled, we're doing okay. I guess you're supposed to do this before. Um, before Koga. Who knew? I, I didn't know. <laughs> I just do it in order of what the game, like encourages me to do it and I'm encouraged to do the fifth gym right after a psychic is not gonna KO it but that's okay Pikachu's gonna be able to KO it next uh, honestly I don't think Venomoth would be too useful for the next portion um, it doesn't matter who we send out here may as well just send out Venusaur do it for the do it for the vine one of my other just shut up Phil just start talking Currently recording this. Don't want to, don't, don't want to petal down. So I want to use takedown. Um, it's currently, gosh, twenty to three a.m. As I'm recording this, so uh, that explains a lot. <laughs> when I haven't slept in like thirty-six hours properly. But Yolo, Pikachu goes to level thirty-six. That's going to be useful. Probably not for Giovanni though. Okay, there we go. As always. Ah, I hate kids. Okay, that's 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 a bit cruel. Just like always. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. It looks like we're blasting off again, Jesus. We're the ones spinning round right there. Is there anything over here? Uh, is there any battles to expect? I feel like I feel like it's quite anticlimactic, right? I'm not complaining. This isn't anticlimactic to me. I'm happy with this. This, this is this is the direction I wanted to go in. It's how quick I want to speed through things. Uh, we are going to heal up. Like, knowing my luck, we're going to get healed up in just a second anyway. Giovanni is going to be really noble and be like, Oh, I want us to have the deepest of matches. So, 
here's some healing for you or something just stupid like that. Maybe you should get a couple of TMs. I know you can pick up Waterfall from Celadon Department Store. I might pick that up, see if Snorlax can learn that. If not, we're going to be catching quite a few uh, water type Pokemon over the course of the next few episodes anyway, so that's okay. Um, let's do this. Nervous about this. We are going to remove my face because it's a good scene. Now, now, Mr. President, I hope you're not thinking of lying to me. The Master Ball. You successfully created one, didn't you? You think it's that easy to make? And now that I know who you really are, there's no way I want to make a thing like that. Not for someone like you. How dare you! And give up any thought of forcing us to create lots of powerful Pokemon. Create lots of Pokemon? I guess Mewtwo's a creation. Using stolen research to create Pokemon, that's not something Sylph should ever do. We had a deal. You agreed to this. You're a smart man. I'm sure you can imagine what will happen to your people if you say no to me now. Okay. I want to know what font they use for the exclamation points and stuff like that. Just just a side thought. Ah, young P.D. Winnell, so we meet again. The president of Sylph and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Okay. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You do you? He's going to bring the pain. Why not? Okay. Fine with that. Uh, we've brought out Venusaur first. Might not be the best Pokemon to have out. It's going to fake out, isn't he? Alright. We are going to send out Arcanine just as Death Father. He's going to fake out. Um, I haven't actually done this battle uh, in like my tests. I just knew I'd be able to do this because he has multiple Rock-type Pokemon, I believe. Um, but always remember, with Giovanni, he will always fake out. Now, as long as we don't miss Heatwave, we should be able to... Hopefully two hit KO this. Oh, uh, we can with burn. That's great. Actually, that makes our life a lot easier. Gonna heat wave again, hoping we don't miss. Fantastic. Is he going to heal? I'm gonna flamethrower just to be safe, just to hit it. Doesn't heal. Great. There we go. Persian down. Next Pokemon. It's gonna be Rhydon. Rhydon or Nido King? I'm gonna presume. If it's Nido King, he might have some trouble if he does have Nido King. He has Rhydon. Rhydon, that's scary. Now, if he does have a Nido King, Petal Dance is still going to be able to tear through it. Going to rip it to shreds uh, because it doesn't fully resist it. Um, it's neutral because it's ground poison type. Um, so Nido... Uh, oh, it's Rhyhorn. Um, not Rhydon, like I previously said. So Petal Dance is going to hit for two or three turns. Hoping three. Otherwise, we'll get confused. We are stuck in Petal Dance. Is it going to offer us the opportunity to switch? Because if it does, I might take the opportunity. Nido Queen. You have Nido Queen. Interesting. Um, you know what? I'm going to stay in. Level 39. Okay, let's see how much Petal Dance does. It should do a good amount. Confused due to fatigue. That's annoying. Paralyzed. I knew that was going to happen. Power Hacks. That's so irritating. That's fine, though. Um, okay, Body Slam. Let's send out Venomoth on the off chance that he doesn't use a ground-type attack. I don't know if this Nido Queen would have Earth Power at this point. It doesn't, that's good. Oh, Paralyzed again! That means we can't outspeed it. That's what I was relying on. Body Slam again? Okay, we're not going to be able to KO this with Venomoth, but... Actually, I want Venomoth to get experience because there's a requirement for the next gym. And I'm going to depend on Venomoth to be able to actually reach that requirement. <laughs> so, Body Slam. Nido King should survive. And we should be able to just thrash it. And yeah, that will be the Sylph Company Dunzo. Kablamo. I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. <laughs> Don't ignore me, that doesn't make sense. I'm recording a video. <laughs> what am I on about? I talk to you guys like I'm just talking to someone else in the room. And I am like this with people in the room. Just like, just shut up, Phil. You're an idiot. Just don't listen to me, guys. What am I what am I even like? Anyway, cutscene, so let's remove that ugly mug in the top in the bottom left hand corner. I have a little choice it seems. I'll relinquish Sylph for now. Team Rocket will never fall. Petey Winnell will never forget. 
all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket's use. I may leave you now, but we will meet again. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay then, so we successfully beat Giovanni there. Oh dear boy, thank you for saving us here itself. Pika, Pika. That's not that's not the president saying that. Well, haha, I suppose that's so. It wasn't just you. It's that wonderful part. I didn't literally didn't use Pikachu once. I'll never forget how you saved us in that moment of Pell. I have to thank you in some way, and I'm quite uh magnamious. I missed that word then. So I'm just re like I'm remembering what I saw there. Master Ball. Can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype, the Master Ball. If it will catch any Pokemon without fail, truthfully, if any succeeded in making just the one, I should probably be quiet about using it. I'm going to tell the world. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We are indebted. You are. You owe me. You freaking owe me, people. I won three Pokeballs for life. I saved your company. You would have spent millions on fighting Team Rocket. But now you're not because of me. One well, of just Okay, so, ah, oh, slowly but surely getting through the game. The next episode is arguably going to be the toughest one of every episode. Um, <laughs> that's funny. That guy's funny. I like that guy. Uh, any kind of tool? Yes. I know there's a couple of gift Pokemon you can receive from Self Company. I'll probably do a round at some point. Um... Next episode is going to be the toughest episode we do for sure. Definitely. I am very worried about it. Are you here to meet the president? You know I just saved your company, you know. I just saved your job. You'd be redundant without me. I should never become a superhero. <laughs> but you did it. You beat Giovanni, right? That archer guy made a run for it, so I chased him all the way out here. And then all the Team Rocket runs around right out of Saffron City too. Gets weird lucky with such a strong trainer. Uh, PD went all to be honest, I was a little scared. Like, what would have happened to us if it turned out the bad guys were the strongest, you know? But you and me, PD went all, we really managed to save Sylph. Nobody will have to go through what Cubone went through ever again. Right, now that everything's back to normal, I guess it's time for the next Pokemon Gym. Have you been to the Saffron City Gym already? How many badges have you got? That many? We will both make it all the way to the Pokemon League. Let's both give you a Best shot. Alright, so, in the next episode, unless this guy gives us a Pokemon, he does not. In the next episode, we are going to take on the sixth gym of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Uh, the Psychic-type gym, Sabrina. Uh, yeah. Nervous. Nervous, boys. Like on this video, it'd be really appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.